and we do have some rain showers and thunderstorms moving into portions of the eastern UP, especially along the Lake Michigan shoreline. We'll get you to our local three radar network here and we'll close on into parts of Schoolcraft County and also portions of Mackinac County here. And you can see we got some pretty good thunderstorms, not out of control, but definitely producing some heavy downpours here from just south of Newberry to the Manistique Lakes around Curtis, seeing some rain showers and thunderstorms, and then south and westward to just north of Manistique and right over Indian Lake, and then we have more rain showers and thunderstorms just to the north of Rapid River, or even right around Rapid River. As we widen out the view here, you can see that we do have these rain showers and thunderstorms drifting on off towards the south and east, and this is all because of a cold front that is slowly moving through upper Michigan. These storms are developing out ahead of a cold front, and this cold front will continue to drift on down to the south. You can see the cooler air to the north of the cold front. We got 64 Sawyer International, 67 for Munising, 66 for Copper Harbor. Out ahead of it, still warm. We got temperatures in the upper 70s to around 80, 79 for Iron Mountain, 75 for Escanaba, and down the road, we got 77 for Menominee and 79 for Green Bay. You can see some drier air also starting to work in with the dew points starting to drop on off. We got dew points in the 50s in the Copper Country. Well, out ahead of the cold front, we're still looking at humid conditions with dew points in the 60s. Menominee having a dew point of 71 degrees. High temperatures today, most spots in the 70s. And as we look at our next seven days here, we're going to see temperatures remain in the 70s here as we go into Saturday and Sunday. You're going to notice the humidity creep back up though on Sunday and it's going to be warm, perhaps very warm and humid for early next week with Tuesday looking like it's going to be the warmest day with some spots taking a stab at 90 degrees and then we'll have a cool down perhaps for the end of the week. Your extended forecast for your UP community coming up here in just a bit. Community tour forecast Gladstone like Haley's story said it's been great to be there all week showcasing that community. Tonight we're looking at temperatures in the 50s with a rain shower or a thunderstorm chance early on and then some clearing tomorrow. We're looking at temperatures in the 70s might get a little bit of sunshine as well. Weather in motion, high pressure up to the north of us is going to try to drift in and that's what's going to try to give us a dry Saturday. In the meantime, though, cold front slowly moving to the south and east. We'll take the rain showers and thunderstorms with it as we go through tonight. Tomorrow you can see this area of high pressure drifting across northern Ontario. East to northeasterly wind around it. That's what's going to break up some of the clouds and keep most of the rain showers to the south of us across the north woods of Wisconsin. But this cold front that's drifting to the south is going to start to slowly come back to the north here. And as it does, we're looking at rain showers and thunderstorms to return for Saturday night on into Sunday. And then we're also looking at the humidity down to our south and west to move back to the north into upper Michigan. Temperatures for tonight, we're looking for low temperatures across the UP in the 50s to around 60. Any rain showers or thunderstorms should start to come to an end and move out, just as I mentioned, as that cold front moves out of here. But we could also see some fog develop in some spots. Your extended forecast for your UP community, Marquette, Marquette County, we're looking at temperatures the next two days in the 70s. And then for Monday into early next week, we're going to warm it back up into the 80s, perhaps on Tuesday, well into the 80s. For the eastern UP, we'll see temperatures that will be in the 70s for Saturday and also Sunday. For Monday, we're looking at temperatures away from the Lake Michigan shoreline around 80. And then into the 80s, we go for Tuesday and Wednesday away from the Lake Michigan shoreline. For Delta County and Escanaba, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s the next two days for Saturday and also Sunday. And then we're jumping up into the 80s for Monday, Tuesday, and also Wednesday, with Tuesday perhaps being the warmest day. For Delta County, Escanaba, going westward along US 2 into the interior west and along the Michigan Wisconsin border. We're looking at temperatures in the 70s for Saturday and also Sunday. Then we're jumping into the 80s, perhaps well into the 80s for the early part of next week. And then as we look at the Keweenaw Peninsula, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s for most spots and same for Sunday. And then for Monday and Tuesday, we're looking at temperatures returning into the 80s, perhaps well into the 80s. Weather anytime, head to our webpage, upmatters.com. Becca, back to you.